going on guys it's dropping like it's scott and today in this video we are going to be shooting a piece of body armor uh, for your backpack from safe light defense link in the description below where you guys can check them out and pick them up this is the safe life backpack body armor the one that we have for you today is level 3a plus every piece of armor you get comes with this little booklet it'll tell you all of the things that it covers level 3a plus we'll cover results from pistol calibers in order to test this properly i tried to get a backpack, backpack, backpack. they're based out of las vegas nevada level 3a plus is ballistic ratings stab resistance so you can stab it which we're going to stab it and see how well it actually does up against all of that stuff level 3a plus soft body armor ballistic resistance nine millimeter 357 44 magnum and it said it passed every single time so we're going to start out first thing we're going to do is we're going to start with a stab test so what i've done is since most backpacks have books in them i went ahead and got a couple of these i have a couple of these books right here they are extremely thick and so we're going to put the armor up against this, put it on top, and then we're going to try and stab it. See how that works. We're going to use our DPX Heat Carabiner Blade. This thing's pretty cool. All right, here we go. <laughs> put a little bit of a... Put a little bit on the actual thing, but, I mean, I hit that thing hard, and it wasn't going through. Nothing. Puts little notches on there, but that's it. Let's try it again. All right, so I think it passes the stab test. Let's take it over to the range and shoot it. All right, first up we have is the nine millimeter. We're gonna shoot it out of the Canik TP9 SFX with the 45 blast compensator and the AGM Global Vision Red Dot. Let's see if the Red Dot is working. It's working a little bit. Let's test it and see. Yep. All right, so we're gonna hit over here and on like most backpacks, and this is for studies and for purposes of, for kids to have something in their backpack or adults to have something in your backpack that is bulletproof. What's in backpacks, books, computers, and all that stuff. So we're gonna take that same super thick book that we had over there when we stabbed it and we got it behind the plate here. So we're gonna go ahead and shoot it. Behind the backpack armor is the book and then there's a Kevlar wall. So. If it goes through, which I don't think it's gonna go through, we'll be able to see what kind of dent it puts in that book. All right, here we go. Completely knocked it off. So this is where the nine millimeter went in. There is literally no bulge. There's a little bit of a, I can feel where the I can feel where the bullet casing is right there. But let's go check the book. So you can see, I don't even feel where there'd be a dent, maybe right about there. But I mean, it's, there's nothing, no dents on the side of it either. That's pretty crazy. So we're gonna set this back up, do it again. And one of the calibers that they said they shot it with was 357. And I just happened to have a 357 in the Kiapa Rhino. Chambered in 357. We're chambered. Let's do it. 357. So we have a little bit of a dent right here in the book. Little one. Kind of see where it's kind of creeping down and folded. There's a little dent right there. But. That's where we hit, right inside there. And I can feel, I can feel the jacket, I can feel the bullet right there, but nothing, nothing through the back. I think the ants on me. All right, so I went ahead and raised up the backpack body armor. And what I wanna do now is since we know that there's nothing that's gonna go through that pistol wise, I wanna take 10 rounds of 22 and like 15 rounds of nine mil from the SIG X5 Legion. And I want to see how many rounds I could put through there until it actually is compromised. And if the 22 and the 9mm pistol don't do it, we'll move up to a rifle. So here we go. You guys can see it. It's right there. We're going to unload 10 rounds of 22 on that. Right there. Now 
nothing through the back. Not even a bulge on the back. This, this is intense. Look at that, nothing. No bulge, nothing. So now we're gonna take the 15 rounds from the SIG P320 X5 Legion. Fifteen rounds. To the X5 Legion. Let's go take a look. Holy cow. It caught them all down here on the bottom, but look, you can see, man. Nothing, nothing came through. So now, since we have no penetration on this, we're going to take it and we are going to hit it with a rifle. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna back up a little bit and we'll see how it does. All right, let's hit this thing three times. See if it will, uh, See if it goes through on it. All right, here we go. Let's go check it out. Safety's on. Let's check it out. I'll be very surprised if it doesn't stop, if it stopped it. Yeah, we definitely had some, uh, definitely had some pass through for sure. So it will stop. What I hit it with like 25 rounds of nine millimeter and nine nine millimeter and uh, 22 but it did not stop the rifle rounds this is a good one for having in your backpack for pistol calibers they do make other ones that are rated for rifle calibers this one is not rated for rifle calibers and it got compromised with the with the 556 five, it did not get compromised with the pistol calibers so this is where it's at let me tell you uh, the warranties on this. It's a two-year warranty on carriers and pouches, five-year warranty on ballistic protections, lifetime warranty on their belts. SafeLifeDefense.com. See you on the next one.